You know how sometimes you're working on a design or on an image and you want to apply a certain color? But there's a couple of ways you can apply spe some specific colors. One of them is the Adobe Color Picker. So for example, if you use one of the painting tools that use your foreground color, you can change your foreground color and you get a couple of options in here. In the Color Picker, you can pick a color visually by looking at it. But you can also use the values like RGB values or HSB, heat saturation, brightness, OLAB or CMYK or even hexadecimal values that are used in web design or hex values as they're often called. So for example you may be given a hex value from the client and you can just type it in here like let's say um, 00 uh, 3C2E which is a certain dark shade of green. Okay. You can also use color libraries, so you can use Panton colors and there's lots of Panton colors in here, the whole all libraries of Pantons. But what I want to show you is another option with Cooler. I'm just going to click Picker and I'll cancel it. I'll go to the uh, web browser to cooler.adobe.com and if you haven't used Kula before, Kula is used for creating and using color schemes. So sets of colors that go well within the design, for example, a website. So what you can do is you can look for something you like here on Kula. You don't have to log in. Okay? You can do quite a lot without logging in here. So I'm going to select, let's say, maybe this handicraft. I'll click on it. It loads in here. These are the colors. Now, I know what, you I know what you're thinking. What we used to do in the past is, uh, for example, take a screenshot and then sample the color using the eyedropper tool in Photoshop. But you don't have to do it because when the color scheme loads, you can click on this icon here to edit it or make changes or even view color values. So click on it. It opens the color. Uh, let's say I like this color, for example. Okay. What's great in here is that for each color, you have all the values. So, for example, if I don't want to use this color in, in Photoshop, I can just set the RGB to, or I can actually use this hex. I can copy that, go back to, into Photoshop, and paste it here. And that's the color. Fantastic. But what else you can do in cooler is you can change the colors. Okay, These are the colors that appear here. That's the one. There's this one here on the right. And that's the one on the left. So for example, you can click and drag to change the color. Notice how the sliders are moving on the left hand side of the screen. Because I'm changing the color. So what you can do is you can create your own custom colors. You can change these colors. You can also use these sliders here. Okay. You've got these values here that can also be changed. I could type in 41 instead of 43, for example. Okay. <coughs> and if you sign in to Kula with your Adobe ID, you can save this film for later use. There's a save button here on the top. You can give it a name, you can add some tags and just save it. Okay. That's just a show demonstra quick demonstration for you on Adobe Cooler, a great website and application as well from Adobe, cooler.adobe.com. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.